So we're going to have a look at planning a bicycle journey with Traveline, which is one of um, several online route planners which are available. This is the home page. If you to get to it, just put in that it's travellineeastmidlands.co.uk. But when you put put that in, it'll put a load of parameters on the end of it. So the journey is from your location here to the destination here and the easiest way to do this is is with postcodes the same as you would do with a sat nav so the, the so the first thing to do is is try to find the postcode of your destination which if it's a building um, should be quite easy you you can usually do this on google by search google for the building name or address and it should give you the postcode so we'll put in our current location is and G91LB and you can check this if you click the map button here it'll show you where it thinks that is and <clears throat> this all uses the same sort of sat nav type technology so that's our start point and we're going to NG7 5QJ and that's the location of that. This is actually this is a retail park um, in Nottingham on the west side of Nottingham which has got um, Maplin and Dunelm and shops like that in it. So and we can close that down. So that just checks that it is going from and to the places that you you're expecting. If you're doing a cycle journey, then the you know the t the time and the date doesn't matter. That this is for if you're using bus or train timetables because the um, the times will vary depending on what day it is. So if we're just doing cycling, we unclick trains, buses, coaches, undergrounds, tram, etc., and no walking. Put in cycling. You know, average speed. I only want to cycle. That's all fine. And then we submit that, um, and it will it will calculate the journey, which it does quite quickly. And so this is the this is what it's calculated. Um, this here, there's only one leg on this because it's cycling. If it's a bus journey, it may have sort of one bus, then you change, walk to another bus stop, and um, take a second bus, something like that. So this diagram would would be more complicated for public transport. So let's have a look at the map. And that looks about right. This is going from this is near Beeston Railway Station, and it's taking us to a retail park in Radford. You can animate this, but uh, I'm not sure actually how useful <laughs> that is. It just goes along. It goes along the line. Anyway, we can turn that off. Right. If we zoom into this, you can see some of the benefits of this. The main, the main one being. This route here is taking you, it's along Queen's Road and then University Boulevard. Um, but when it gets to this Abbey Bridge area, this is a big, quite a busy flyover and a large roundabout. Because we're on a cycle, this is actually taking us through some side streets. There's an alleyway here which goes under, under the railway track, which you can't go through on a car. So the route planner, it is picking a better route for us because because we are cycling and then it's taking us along Radford Boulevard here to the re to Prospect Park which is where we're headed so the benefit of this is that it it is actually it's intelligent enough to find a, a better route if you're on a bike and the next thing if we if we zoom into this this is the different part of the route to going by car if we zoom into this that's one these little red these are all, the red the red blobs are bus stops um which are useful if you're um travel planning so a lot of information on this map um if we go in one again watch that what that is showing us here is that as we come along here we're av we're avoiding abbey bridge and instead going down this route so it shows you the street name so we turn off down lean gate and then follow church street up here church grove 
and then we're back on uh, this road which is Radford Boulevard being able to see the street names you can you can make a note of where to turn off so if we zoom back out of that again that's one Again. So if we follow the route along, this here is Radford Boulevard. One other thing here, you can see that the, the destination is not actually not quite in, that's the postcode NG75QJ, and we're actually going in here, and this is the problem with SatNav, so, sometimes the the postcode is, is it, it can be slightly out by sort of 50 metres or so, but um, but it's it's close enough. So that's showing you how to put your start point in and the destination, calculate the route, then you can zoom into the route to check the check the street names, just and just check that the start and end points are where they should be. And it's um it's as simple as that. And hopefully the the route that it gives you will be cycle cycle friendly, which um which is obviously quite important in busier, busier areas.